Hi, I'm Lauren Britt. And I'm Brittany Reese, physical therapist here at Bodies in Motion Physical Therapy in Reston, Virginia. At our clinic near Reston Town Center, we see a variety of patients from the student athlete looking to improve on field performance to post operative patients looking to recover from a recent procedure. Even older patients looking to improve balance and prevent falls. While each of these patient populations initially appear very different, one thing that unites them all is the potential benefit they can each receive from the exact same technique, blood flow restriction training. Blood flow restriction training, or BFR, involves the application of a pneumatic cuff or tourniquet that is placed proximally to the muscle group you are targeting. Once the cuff is placed either near the shoulder for upper arm training or at the upper thigh for lower leg training, the cuff is inflated to provide partial arterial and complete venous occlusion. The reason this is important is because of the physiologic changes that occur within the body when oxygen is selectively deprived. Once there is less oxygen available for muscle cells to use, physiologic changes occur within the muscles themselves. All muscles in our bodies are composed of two types of muscle fibers. Type 1 fibers are used for endurance and maintenance of posture, while type 2 fibers are used for quick, powerful motions. Because the functions of these fibers are vastly different, they are usually unable to be trained at the same time. However, when blood flow is restricted, our slow twitch muscles run out of oxygen first, which allows our brain to recruit type 2 fibers faster, even during low intensity exercise. By contracting all parts of the muscle simultaneously, we are able to achieve greater strength gains even with low intensity exercises. This allows resistant strengthening to be safe even for those who would not be able to perform high intensity training, such as post-operative patients, patients with painful osteoarthritis, and even patients with osteoporosis. We will now demonstrate how we apply this type of training to our patients. First, the cuff is placed at either the upper thigh or arm. The cuff is then attached to the machine where pressure is provided via air passing through the hollow tube. Once the desired pressure is obtained, the patient is asked to perform low intensity exercises such as straightening the leg or sit to stands. Research has shown that even with low intensity exercise, which is about 20 to 30 percent of maximum contraction, improvements have been seen in both size and strength of muscle. These gains have been shown in as little as three weeks. Blood flow restriction training is a game-changing technique that allows physical therapists to rehabilitate people that wouldn't typically be able to manage high-intensity training, as well as improve performance for the everyday and competitive athlete. For more information, please call one of our offices to get scheduled with a physical therapist. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our channel for videos on other physical therapy topics. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and share it with others.